when Rita died, we had a friend of Aileen's living in the apartment. The next thing was a huge leak, and the apartment was totally flooded. She moved out, somebody else moved in, and the toilet flooded. And today, we're laying Rita to rest, and our own toilet went as well. So there seems to be a connection in relation to water and plumbing in the family somewhere, yeah. or she is trying to tell us it's time for her to go to bed yeah. and lie down beside her husband and her son. So saying that, I'm just going to put Rita in now. Her son with her. It'd be nice if everyone would just remember them for a minute and maybe say a quiet prayer for Thomas, David, and Rita together at last in the one place where we can come and remember them and remember all the great times that everyone had. Would anyone else like to say a word or say a prayer? Or... Oh. <laughs> oh, lady. <laughs> we like to say good, good, good. <laughs> like to say goodbye to Rita because we, uh, we, we Rita was always great crack with us, so he always gave us a lot. And I always say goodbye to Uncle Davy as well because we we're just talking about coming over in the car with Dolly Mount yeah. in a close up the beach. We used to come here as kids. We always used to call into Davy and uh, to David yeah. and to Rita for a cup of tea after we went to the beach in Dolly Mount. Yeah. And now they close up the beach. You know? Yeah, I often remember you coming over. Carmel, you used to come over in the was it the, the, the car, escort, yeah. the estate car, the big so huge uh, Austin Cambridge. Say, yeah, and and you'd pull, you'd ring me, you'd ring me mum in advance, and she'd pull into the driveway, and we'd all pile into the car, and there's a few of us all sitting in the boot as well because we couldn't all fit in the car, and off down to Dolly. Down to so much for safety in those days. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to see.